Hey everyone, this is Cassie, and these are the weekly tarot horoscopes for all signs for the week of May 20 to May 26. If you want to check out last week's predictions, you, you can find them on the upper right corner of this video. And if you like my videos and the way I read tarot cards, make sure you subscribe so that this channel reaches a larger audience. If you want to find me for a personal tarot reading, um, in live chat, you can reach me on my psychic platform www.kasikai.com and with your subscription you will get 3 free minutes to use in your first session. If you prefer an email reading, you can find two options for email readings in my eShop. There you will also find some other very extensive and detailed readings that cannot be performed in live chat. You can check them out in my eShop. Two of them are at 70% discount at the moment. Also, you will find a lot of free content, especially if you're learning how to read the cards. But uh, let's see the predictions for next week. For Aries, we had the Ace of Cups and now it's the Three of Pentacles. Last week for you, Aries, was a period where your heart was open to new possibilities. You may have experienced the surge of positive feelings, deep connections. The Ace of Cups is about the joy of starting something new, especially in the realm of relationships. But it can also be a creative project or simply a renewed sense of emotional well-being. Now, the Three of Pentacles shows teamwork, cooperation, building something of value through combined efforts. So after the emotional highs of the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles brings a grounded approach, emphasizing the importance of working together to achieve common goals. So it's time to focus on the practical aspects of your life this week. In your career, the Three of Pentacles suggests a week where your professional life benefits from teamwork and practical planning. This could be a time to engage more deeply with colleagues or clients, to collaborate on projects, to find a partner if you need to, and to focus on the details uh, that ensure successful outcomes. The Three of Pentacles is a very good card for a career, for work, and encourages you to value the contribution of others, to work together, to build a solid foundation. Now, if you want to know how someone feels, the Three of Pentacles indicates that their feelings are growing, but there is significant focus on the practical aspects of their relationship or the practical aspects of their life. So maybe they are too busy with work or with their own practical plans. However, there is an increasing, they feel increasingly connected to you but they also consider how their relationship fits into their broader life goals and their daily routines. Tuesday and Wednesday are the strong days for this week. These are perfect days to engage in teamwork, to make partnerships, to plan joint activities, and to focus on the practical steps needed to advance both personally and professionally. For Taurus, we had the Fool, and now it's the Seven of Pentacles. Last week for you Taurus was likely filled with the adventurous and spontaneous energy of the Fool. This card represents new beginnings, a leap of faith in some cases, and generally embracing the unknown with an open heart and an open mind. So maybe you have felt the excitement of uh, starting fresh, exploring new opportunities, and generally stepping out of your comfort zone. Now, this week the energy shifts to a more reflective and patient tone with the Seven of Pentacles because the Seven of Pentacles is one of the cards that represents patience in tarot. Slow moving energy, delays, it's a card about evaluation, the, the slow but steady growth of your efforts. So the Seven of Pentacles asks you to take stock of your progress and consider whether your paths, uh, your, the paths you have chosen, are bearing fruit. It's a time for assessing what has been achieved so far and contemplating the next steps with a focus on long-term rewards. Now, in your career, the transition from the Fool to the Seven of Pentacles suggests a week where you shift from initiating new things 
to evaluating their progress. So um, this might involve taking a step back to review the effectiveness of uh, recent projects or recent strategies. It's a good time to measure your progress to make necessary adjustments and plan for future growth. Patience and careful planning are key as you look to build on the foundations you have laid already. Now, if you want to know how someone feels, the Seven of Pentacles indicates slow but steady growth. There's a sense of progress, but it's not happening as quickly as you might like. You may find yourself wondering whether it's worth waiting for someone to make a move or to decide about your relationship. So this card suggests a week of contemplation about your efforts and uh, whether it aligns with your uh, and whether those efforts and the results of them align with your expectations and desires for uh, the future. Saturn Day and Sunday are perfect for reflecting on your progress and making thoughtful decisions about your next steps. For Gemini, we had the Empress and now the Nine of Cups. Last week was about enjoying the fruits of your labor, feeling connected to nature, experiencing growth. The Empress brings a sense of comfort and love and beauty, and it's encouraging you to nurture your relationships and your projects with care and affection. It was probably a time of abundance, harmony, you must have felt deeply connected to your surroundings and the people in your life. Now, the Nine of Cups is known as the Wish card. So this card signifies satisfaction, pleasure, something that comes to fruition. It will be a week when your desires and efforts will uh, come to fruition, will manifest, allowing you to enjoy the results of your hard work. In your career, this will be a week where your professional endeavors reach a satisfying conclusion. You might find yourself enjoying the rewards of your creativity, of your hard work. It's a great time to celebrate achievements, to feel proud of what you have accomplished. The Nine of Cups encourages you to take a moment to appreciate your successes and the satisfaction that comes from a job well done. Now, if you want to know how someone feels about you, the Nine of Cups indicates that they are very happy, very content with the current state of your relationship. This person feels a deep sense of satisfaction, connection, and joy with what you share. But that might mean they are not looking for more at this stage, so that could be a little problem problematic if you're not happy with what they offer at this stage. Thursday is highlighted as particularly significant for you this week. This day you will celebrate your achievements, indulge in activities that bring you pleasure and spend quality time with loved ones. For Cancer we had the Nine of Wands and now the Ace of Swords. Last week the Nine of Wands shows perseverance, defense, standing your ground despite challenges. It represents a time when you may have felt tested and uh, needed to master all your inner strength to keep going. The Nine of Wands is about being on guard, protecting what you have worked for and preparing for any final obstacles before you can achieve your goals. This week you will get the clarity and decisiveness of the Ace of Swords. This card brings a fresh perspective, new ideas, the power of clear communication because the Ace of Swords and Swords in general are cards of communication. So after the guarded and defensive stance of the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords cuts through confusion, offering truth and insight. So it's a time for breakthroughs and understanding where mental clarity allows you to see things as they are and make informed decisions. In your career, the shift from the Nine of Wands to the Ace of Swords shows a week where you move from merely holding your ground to actively seeking new solutions and new strategies. In your career, this could be a time for initiating new projects, presenting new ideas, or solving long-standing problems with newfound clarity. The Ace of Swords encourages you to communicate effectively and you will have some very significant talks this week and you will make decisive moves that advance your professional goals. If you want to know how someone feels, the Ace of Swords indicates that um, someone is developing feelings for you and is thinking a lot about you. 
They are eager to understand you better and uh, might want to have meaningful conversations to deepen your connection. That could apply even if you know this person for a long time. This card suggests a mental and emotional engagement where clear communication and the desire to know each other on a deeper level becomes essential. Monday to Wednesday are the strong days for this week. Use this time to have important conversations, to make informed decisions and pursue new ideas with confidence. For Leo, we had the Six of Wands and not the Four of Swords. Last week was likely marked by a victory for you, Leo. The Six of Wands represents success, recognition, the joy of achieving a goal. It's a time when you may have felt on top of the world, or you received praise or acknowledgement for your efforts. This week, the energy shifts to a more introspective and restful tone with the Four of Swords. After the excitement of the Six of Wands, the Four of Swords calls for a period of rest, reflection, recuperation. This card is about taking a break to reflect on recent events and to prepare yourself for the next phase. In your career, the transition from the Six of Wands to the restful Four of Swords suggests a week where things will slow down and you shift from active engagement to a more reflective and restorative state. This could mean taking a step back to review your recent successes, evaluating what worked well and planning your next steps with a clear and rested mind. It's a good time to take a breather, to take some days off work if you can, to ensure that you are not burning out and prepare for future challenges with renewed vigor as energies will be moving slowly and there might be some delays. If you want to know how someone feels, the Four of Swords shows that they may be feeling emotionally distant or they are taking a break from the relationship. This might be because things got overwhelming for them or they felt pressured, not necessarily by you or by the relationship. There might be other areas of your life that cause this pressure. So it's a period where they need some space to process their feelings and recharge. This doesn't necessarily mean the end of the relationship, but rather a temporary pause to reflect and regain emotional balance. Thursday is the strong day of this week, so use this time to engage in activities that promote relaxation, such as meditation, journaling, or simply taking some time, some quiet time for yourself. A Pisces individual, Sun or Ascendant, may play a crucial role during this period, likely offering a calming and intuitive influence. For Virgo, we had the Strength and now the King of Cups. Last week was likely characterized by inner strength, courage, as represented by the Strength. This card symbolizes resilience, compassion, perseverance, patience, and the ability to overcome challenges with grace and determination. It's basically about mastering your inner impulses and demonstrating patience and endurance in the face of obstacles. This week we had the emotionally balanced and nurturing presence of the King of Cups. The King of Cups brings a mature and compassionate approach to your interactions, especially to personal relationships. This card shows emotional maturity, deep feelings and the ability to offer support and understanding to others. In your career, the shift from the determined energy of the strength to the balanced and supportive energy of the King of Cups suggests a week where you move from facing challenges head-on to fostering harmony and understanding in your professional life. This could be a time to employ your emotional intelligence in managing relationships at work, offering support to colleagues or to restore some relationships that have, that have been tested lately. The King of Cups encourages you to lead with empathy, understanding, creating a supportive and cohesive work environment. For some of you, the, Ace, the King of Cups means that you will get a role uh, of leadership. 
In terms of romantic feelings, the King of Cups indicates that someone's feelings for you are now strong and mature. This person has developed deep emotions and a balanced perspective on your relationship. They are likely to offer you emotional support, understanding, and they value the connection you share. They will show that to you this week. The King of Cups suggests a relationship that is emotionally fulfilling and grounded. The last part of the week, particularly the weekend, is significant for you this week, Virgo. Use this time to deepen your emotional connections, to engage in meaningful conversations, especially about how you feel, and offer support to those who you care about. A water sign, in either sign or ascendant, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, will have a crucial role during this week. For Libra, we had the Eight of Cups and now the Ten of Swords. Last week for you, Libra, was likely marked by the contemplative and transformative energy of the Eight of Cups. This card shows a period of introspection and the decision to leave behind what no longer serves you. It's about recognizing that some aspects of your life, whether relationships, habits, situations, need to be left in the past in order to seek greater fulfillment and deeper meaning in your life. So the Eight of Cups encourages you to embark on a journey towards personal growth and emotional well-being, even if that means making some difficult choices. And transitioning into this week, the mood takes a heavier, tur a heavier turn with the Ten of Swords and maybe you will be forced to make those choices because this card represents endings, finality and the culmination of a difficult cycle. The Ten of Swords brings a sense of closure, often through a difficult experience. It's a time of acknowledging what has come to an end and facing the reality of a situation with acceptance because that will bring the fresh energy you need into your life. In your career, the shift from the reflective energy of the Eight of Cups to the finality of the Ten of Swords suggests a week where you might encounter significant changes or endings in your professional life. This could be the conclusion of a project, the end of a job, someone leaving your professional environment, or the realization that a certain path is no longer viable. It's important to face these changes with resilience, recognizing that they pave the way for new beginnings and new opportunities. In terms of romantic feelings now, the Ten of Swords indicates that someone may be experiencing negative emotions, fears, mental exhaustion. This person feels overwhelmed and mentally taxed by the relationship or recent events, leading to a period of emotional distance and some difficulties. The Ten of Swords suggests a need for healing and recovery, as these intense feelings are likely a sign that significant change or reflection is necessary for both parties involved. Sunday is ideal for reflecting on the challenges you faced and beginning the process of healing and moving forward. Use Sunday to rest, to recuperate and take stock of what has ended in order to prepare for those new beginnings. For Scorpio, we had the Ten of Cups and now the Emperor. Last week for you, Scorpio was likely filled with the joyful and harmonious energy of the Ten of Cups. It was a time when you may have felt deeply connected to your loved ones, experiencing a sense of unity, contentment. The Ten of Cups signifies a period of peace, joy in your personal life, where your relationships bring you a profound sense of satisfaction. Now, following the emotional fulfillment of the Ten of Cups, the Emperor brings a focus on stability, order and leadership. This card represents maturity, control and the ability to establish a solid foundation. It's a time to take charge of your life, to set clear boundaries if you have to and make decisions that promote long-term stability and success. In your career, the shift from the harmonious energy of the Ten of Cups to the structured authority of the Emperor suggests a week where you move from enjoying the fruits of your labor to taking a more disciplined and strategic approach in your professional life. This could be a time to assert your leadership skills, implement new systems, and ensure that your career path is aligned with, with your long-term goals. The Emperor encourages you to take control and establish a clear direction from your professional endeavors. 
If you want to know how someone feels, the emperor shows that um, they are becoming more serious and more mature. This person is likely thinking about the long-term potential of your relationship and is interested in building a stable and committed partnership. The influence of the emperor brings a sense of security and responsibility to the relationship, suggesting that they value structure and are ready to take on a more significant role in your life. Tuesday and Friday are perfect for bringing order and stability to your personal and professional life. Use these days to make important decisions, to set clear goals, to, sh to draw boundaries, to establish strong foundations. It's also a good time to have serious conversations about the direction of your relationship and to ensure that everyone's needs and expe expectations are aligned. An Aries individual, Sun or Ascendant, may play a crucial role during this week. For Sagittarius, we had the Four of Wands and now the Death. Last week, you might have enjoyed moments of happiness with loved ones, marked significant events, or felt a strong sense of community and support. The Four of Wands is about laying down solid foundations and um, making security, creating security for yourself, satisfaction that comes from achievements. Transitioning into this week, the atmosphere shifts dramatically with the presence of death. This card signifies transformation, endings, and the fear of the unknown. Now, following the stability of the Four of Wands, the death brings a period of significant change and the necessity to let go of the old to make way for the new. It's about embracing the transformation process, even though it can be daunting and filled with uncertainty. The transition from the stable energy of the Four of Wands to the transformative power of the death suggests a week where you might face significant changes in your professional life. This could involve ending certain projects, leaving a job, undergoing major shifts in your work environment. While these changes might be challenging, they are necessary for opportunities to emerge. If you want to know how someone feels, there has been a significant change in how they feel. Their mind is dominated by fear of the unknown and there might be a sense of distance in their relationship as they process these changes. This card suggests a period of emotional transformation where the old ways of relating are being left behind to make room for new dynamics. It's a time to be patient and understanding as both you and this person navigate these shifts. Saturday is highlighted as a particularly significant day for you Sagittarius. Use this time to let go of what no longer serves you and to welcome new opportunities that are that arise from these endings. A Scorpio individual, Sun or Ascendant may play a crucial role during this week. For Capricorn, we had the Page of Wands and now the Judgment. Last week for you Capricorn was likely filled with the enthusiastic energy of the Page of Wands. This card represents new beginnings, excitement and a youthful spirit eager to explore and experience. You may have felt inspired to start new projects, to take risks, to embrace uh, your creative impulses. The Page of Wands brings a sense of curiosity and a desire to embark on new adventures, making it a period of fresh starts and dynamic energy. The judgment this week signifies reflection, awakening and significant realizations. Following the excitement and new beginnings of the Page of Wands, the judgment brings a time of evaluating past actions. It's one of the karmic cards anyway, so it's strongly associated with the past. It's about understanding the karmic connections and lessons that have shaped your journey. And that could lead to a sense of rebirth, transformation. The judgment encourages you to take stock of where you've been and make conscious decisions about where you are going. In your career, the shift from the enthusiastic energy of the Page of Wands to the reflective and transformative nature of the judgment suggests a week where you move from initiating new ventures to evaluating their impact and significance. In your career, this could involve taking a step back to assess your progress, to understand the broader implications of your work and to make decisions that align with your long-term goals. The judgment calls for a thorough review and a readiness to embrace changes that can lead to greater fulfillment. 
If you want to know how someone feels, they feel a karmic connection to you. Now, depending on the dynamics of your relationship, this realization can evoke a range of responses. They may fear the intensity of the connection and take a step back, or they might feel compelled to act on this deep bond and move the relationship forward. It's a period of significant emotional evaluation where past actions and future intentions come under scrutiny. Tuesday and Sunday are the strong days of this week. Use these days to reflect on your personal and professional journey and to understand the lessons you've learned and make decisions that align with your higher purpose. For Aquarius, we had the Queen of Swords and now the Page of Wands. Last week for you was a time where you may have felt the need to approach situations with logic, fairness, cutting through confusion and getting straight to the point. The Queen of Swords encouraged you to be honest, objective, to make decisions based on reason rather than emotions. It was a period of clear thinking and a strong mental focus. Now transitioning into this week, the energy shifts to the adventurous and enthusiastic vibe of the Page of Wands. This card brings a burst of creativity, excitement and a desire to explore new opportunities. After the intellectual clarity of the Queen of Swords, the Page of Wands invites you to embrace your curiosity and take bold steps towards new ventures. It's a time for initiating projects, exploring your passions and engaging with life in a dynamic and spirited way. In your career, the transition from the Queen of Swords to the Page of Wands suggests a week where you move from strategic planning to action. In your career, this could involve taking the first steps on a new project or embrace a new idea or explore new opportunities that spark your interest. The Page of Wands encourages you to be bold and proactive, using the clarity gained from the Queen of Swords to guide your actions. If you want to know how someone feels, they feel a strong sense of attraction, enthusiasm and warm feelings towards you. There's a spark of excitement and a desire to explore the potential of the relationship. This card suggests a period of playful interactions and passionate moments where the connection feels fresh and invigorating. The Page of Wands brings a sense of fun and spontaneity into your romantic life. Strong days for this week are from Monday to Wednesday. These are perfect days for tapping into the dynamic energy of the Page of Wands to start new projects, to explore your passions and engage in activities that excite and inspire you. It's an excellent week for making bold moves and embracing the adventurous spirit of this card. A fire sign individual, Aries, Leo or Sagittarius might play a significant role during this week. For Pisces, we had the Hierophant and now the Eight of Pentacles. Last week for you Pisces was likely a time when you may have been focused on learning, adhering to established norms, seeking guidance from mentors or spiritual leaders. The Hierophant encourages you to align with conventional wisdom and to find stability and meaning through tradition and structured practices. Now transitioning into this week, we have the diligent and practical vibe of the Eight of Pentacles. This is all about hard work, dedication, honing your skills. After the spiritual and traditional focus of the Hierophant, the Eight of Pentacles brings a week of focused effort and practical growth. It's a time for putting in the work to achieve mastery and see tangible progress. In your career, the shift from the traditional and structured energy of the Hierophant to the diligent and focused energy of the Eight of Pentacles shows a week where you move from aligning with established practices to actively working on improving your skills and advancing your career. This could involve dedicating time to learning something new, to perfect your craft, or putting in the effort needed to achieve your career goals, your higher goals. The Eight of Pentacles emphasizes the importance of hard work. 
In terms of romantic feelings now, the Eight of Pentacles indicates growth but with a strong focus on practical as on the practical aspects of the relationship. Someone feels dedicated to build a solid and stable connection with you, but they also pay, the, pay attention to the details of the practical aspects of their life. For uh, instance, their work or financial matters that um, may be of concern. So while the emotional growth is present, the focus is on making sure the relationship also works on a practical level, ensuring that both partners are committed and putting in the work to make it succeed. Sunday is highlighted as a particularly significant day for you this week, Pisces. Use this time to focus on tasks that require attention to detail and dedication. So these were the weekly tarot horoscopes for the week of May 20 to May 26. I hope you enjoyed them and I will see you again next week. Have a great week.